Hi, it's been three weeks since I did the last video and I missed you guys. So today we'll talk about the clear pots. That's the pots that uh, you use for orchids, but uh, are they good for Nepenthes and uh, should you buy some and spend some money or just take the regular pots? So let's see. Hi, my name is Remy and I love Nepenthes. Have you ever came across these kind of pots for uh, orchids? Usually there is good drainage. Uh, they are transparent, that's the big uh, thing about them. Uh, Sometimes they are square, uh, but is that good for Nepenthes? Because Nepenthes and orchids needs kind of the same uh, condition, S almost substrates, um, uh, like really a lot of air, humidity, light, not too much, but still some good light. So they usually you can grow them beside orchids. Uh, but uh, is it good? Because it will cost more to buy clear pots than regular nursery pots. So that's gonna be the first part of the video. The second part will be, we'll do a quick reporting of plants that were in these square tiny pots to increase the size of the pots. It's always uh, good to see how uh, other people report. You always learn something, even if you kind of know it. And the last part will be why square pots are better than round pots when uh, it comes to small uh, space, uh, windowsill especially, uh, you want to use square pots, but I will show you why it's so important. Because those clear pots uh, are designed for orchids, they are transparent, you can see through. Uh, in order to check if the roots of the orchids are good or not. What I like about these pots is the fact that they are square, so it's uh, allowed me to really save some space. But are they good for Nepenthes? If we check the size, uh, there is a small, medium and large, but they are really shallow. Uh, they are not deep at all. There is not a lot of space for the roots. And for me, that's going to be the major issue for Nepenthes. So that's the medium one. That's a three and a half uh, square pot. If I take the same size, but on the nursery one, the classic one, you get uh, everywhere. They will take the same uh, footprints on the tray, but uh, it's way deeper for the nursery one, so more space for the roots, you can put more drainage, uh, it will retain more moisture, so uh, there is a lot of pros uh, of deeper pot. Now that we talked about the size, let's see if the clear pots uh, have an advantage. So we are on the windowsill and uh, there is a few clear pots here, uh, the square one. So this one, for example, I can see that there is a lot of uh, drainage, but uh, you don't see much. I mean, the, the fact that it's clear uh, is not really a pros here. It's just, yeah, uh, you will see some uh, transparency. Uh, now let's see if another one provide more information, in fact, because that's the whole point of having clear pots. We don't see a lot. Uh, we see that there is some algae growing on it, and it's obvious. Uh, transparent uh, will uh, make the light uh, go through. Oops. Uh, the fact that it's a uh, humid inside plus the light uh, coming through the pot, it will grow algae. Uh, so I don't see any pros on those ones for Nepenthes. So here is a zoom, uh, you see some uh, little uh, white line on it. You could think that's the roots of the Nepenthes. Uh, absolutely not. The Nepenthes roots are black. So this is just some uh, long sphagnum decomposing maybe. Uh, so not a lot of information and uh, that's at the best. I mean, if light touch the pot, the clear pot, you will grow algae and that's only what you will be able to see. So the orchid spot uh, don't really, uh, there is no pros. The shape is not deep enough for me and uh, the fact that it's clear uh, it is not a pros neither. So let's repot those guys in a regular pot. 
Oh, and I also have a few species like this one. That's the Sibylensis by Rocantlii. Uh, it's recovering now, picturing, but uh, I heard that it could help to have a bigger pot. So that's exactly what I plan to do. Uh, it's picturing, but uh, we will see if uh, there is a big uh, improvement or not. I also have the Rocantlii by Vichii here. Uh, it's starting to be uh, big enough to deserve its own pot. So uh, that's exactly what I plan to do. It's just opening this one. But it's hiding uh, on the side and I don't really like it. I, I prefer when the, the pictures are really resting on something. So that's the no ID. Again, this one, I don't know what is it, but uh, it will be in a bigger pot. It's almost the same size, I mean, again, but that's gonna be way deeper. Clearly, more space for the roots, and that's gonna be for the best. So the mix will be the regular one, uh, long fiber, sphagnum, and uh, perlite. And uh, I think there is some bark in it, but we'll see. So with the transparent thing, uh, don't even bother trying to see if you see the rules to dodge them. Just stab uh, the whole uh, pot and uh, pull it out. Uh, if you break a root, well, there is nothing you can do. Just go for it, uh, repot as uh, fast as you can. Try to keep what you can from the old substrate uh, when it's not totally uh, decomposed, I mean. And uh, just make sure you have enough substrate under this uh, old substrate because sometimes you have some space and uh, because all the media will over time sink, you better have uh, like a small hill on the pot and you really want the old media and the new media to touch each other uh, in order to have uh, like a good humidity everywhere. Oh, and when you have a small pot that you will put in a huge pot, you want to center the plants as much as you can. It's not always easy. Some plants will tend to grow pictures on the side, but uh, do your best and that's it. Now that everything is repotted, it's time to go back to the windowsill and see how I can Tetris this whole thing. I have three sides. There is the small pot, like less than three. There is a three and a half and then the five. And as you see, uh, almost no space uh, wasted. It fits perfectly on a 10 by 20 inch tray. Uh, this one clearly will uh, have a lot of space and for bigger plants I can use a uh, 7 inch. Uh, you can fit 3, uh, it's tight but uh, it fits. Let me explain you a little bit more on this old uh, square pot uh, space saving. This is a regular 10 by 20 inch tray. When you mix some 275 inch, 3.5 inch and 5 inch on the tray that's where you get the most of the tray. And for bigger plants, you need bigger pots. So let's go with a seven inch. And because you're good at mathematics, you will see that three times seven inch won't be 20 inch, it will be 21. But you can still fit them. And let me show you in the other side. So here is a 20 inch tray and the pots they always calculate the top of the pot, which is seven inch, but not at the bottom. So you can play around with that. You can build a castle like a brick walls. You can have an arch. Uh, that's what I use, uh, but uh, they would fit. If you want to know the different kind of substrates you can use to repot your nepotes, here is a video for you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, use the super thanks button or uh, support the growth and project. So until next time, happy growing.